Chaining three layers is my proposed solution for decentralized meta transactions as a new potential Chainlink product. Hi, my name is Kira, and this is my submission for the Spring Chainlink Hackathon 2022. The purpose of Relayers is to leverage the existing high quality Chainlink decentralized Oracle network validator set and provide a service which streamlines both users and developers workflows by creating a service that is consistent with the existing services architecture and UI so that it is very similar to Chainlink Keepers and VRF. That means that people don't need to understand a new way of doing things if they already know how to work with it then it'll be very easy to migrate over to Relayers and use this service. Along with this familiar user experience, it will also allow people to pay using the link token. The existing solutions that are out there inspired me to create this chain link, potential chain link service so that we could streamline everything. And by using a decentralized Oracle network, using the existing Chainlink nodes, this removes the need for forwarder contracts as with other existing meta transaction solutions. Relayers allows a user of a decentralized app or app to sign a message of the transaction that they wish to have relayed, not that they necessarily will need to know that it's be being relayed, but the app creators can define that certain transactions they want to be relayed and then the users can sign the message to say, yep, I want this to be done, say mint or whatever. And then this is sent on to the Oracle network which will then check that the user is available to for this transaction to be relayed so that they pass certain checks that are enforced by the client when they submit their contracts for relay. They submit their contracts for relay in a very similar way that you would submit a contract for upkeep via the, as with keepers, it's the, the keeper app, the registry app. And then with relayers, you would have a very similar service where you submit your contracts along with some check data via the app you can see the design of here which is completely identical to keepers to keep things completely streamlined and within that check data you can specify which users will be eligible for their transactions to be relayed so you could say if they are part of a certain group may it be a vip group those users, their transactions can be relayed. So that is specified by the check data and this allows a whole lot of flexibility because you can do multiple checks. You could have a global maximum number of relays in total or you could have a maximum number of relays per user. You could limit it to certain users. So it is it's very adaptable and this check data specification allows for that. You could submit contracts multiple times on the registry just using different pieces of check data and they would be submitted as separate IDs which can then be cancelled and managed separately, which allows a whole lot of adaptability for the relay clients. So along with my submission for the hackathon, which I am very proud to announce, I am also proposing that this be a new Chainlink service because from the developers that I know this would be very very useful and they have kind of requested it and also this would require some interaction with people who know a lot about the Chainlink core client code to be able to connect it up with the existing Chainlink nodes to create a new decentralized Oracle network so I would be very excited to hear all of your feedback and anything you would like to see or explained more so thank you